Okay, if you've seen my other videos, you know that I've been playing around with um, oh, uh, some ceiling fan PMAs that I made. Uh, this is the first one. Um, I mounted a pulley on the side so that I can mount it to my water wheel. One of the water wheels I put here on the inlet side with a, um, a siphon coming from the stream. The other one I put at the other end of the pond where I've got maybe five feet of uh, head, roughly. Okay, so today I'm going to do a little experiment. Uh, that you can see there's ice on the pond, so my generating has pretty much stopped. Uh, it was like uh, 15 degrees the other night. So here's what I'm going to do. I've got the PMA, I've got it nailed down to the picnic table here. Uh, that's the original shaft that was on the uh, ceiling fan. I've got my multimeter set up, all right, and it's, of course, sh on uh, AC. Um, I don't know why it's showing 0.1, but there's nothing going on there. So I've got my uh, battery-powered drill and a pulley mounted on ba -da -da, a half-inch drill. Okay, and I just need something. Here's my, here's my V-belt. I'm going to put that on here. And I'm going to try to find out what this can actually do, um, you know, with more RPMs. I know I was getting 48 volts before. I want to see what it could do if I had more power available to me, which I don't. But I just want to see what the PMA can do. So here we go. I'm going to mount this uh, on my tripod. There we go. All right. I'm going to take this. Take my drill. This is a very heavy pulley. It's made up cast iron, I believe. All right, here we go. So, this is in the uh, forward direction. 73, 138 volts. 138 volts. Okay, whoa, now I'm gonna reverse it. Let's see what I get the other way. My set screw is loose. So, 138 volts that way. One direction. I will uh, get back to you with my next uh, video, which I'm going to experiment. I'm going to put these rear earth magnets on the outside of my PMA to see if it gives me more voltage. And I'll explain why I'm doing that uh, in the next video.